Hi guys, we're going to look at instrument transformers starting off with the current transformer. So on AC supplies it's very difficult to uh, break the circuit and connect an ammeter into the circuit. So if, what I mean by that is if we look at a simple DC circuit what we do firstly is we break the circuit, connect an ammeter into the circuit that ammeter could be a digital ammeter or it could be a moving coil meter. We close the switch and a current will flow through this circuit. That current is known as the load current because obviously depending on what the resistance of this load is will determine how much current flows through the ammeter. So we break the circuit to connect the ammeter in line. Um, that's fine for a very small DC circuit but when we come on to mains it's impracticable and a little dangerous. So, what we use on main circuits, on AC circuits, is we use what we call CTs, or current transformers. And what, ha what these are, are toroidal rings, so little ferrite rings that clip round the cable, the main. So in this, looking here, we have three phase and neutral. So let's say that's L1, L2, L3. And the uh, primary current is the current that is taken from the supply. The secondary current is the current that's coming out of the current transformer. Okay, so what we're actually doing, what a CT does, is it effectively reduces the current significantly um, to make it much smaller so we can then take the current away and put it into some form of instrumentation. So if we look at an AC flowing in a cable, so obviously the cross indicates the current flowing away, we can see that a magnetic flux flows around the cable. Remember this from our principal sessions. When the current flows towards us, like a dart, the magnetic, flails in a magnetic field flows in an anti-clockwise direction. So the positive supply, if you like, going for flowing away, it's flowing clockwise, coming towards us, it's flowing anti-clockwise. So what this does basically is the magnetic flux which is coming off the uh, primary conductor, uh, or that's the actual uh, conductor that we're interested in measuring the current from, this produces a magnetic flux. And the magnetic flux cuts through, uh, basically into this iron ring, this former, and wrapped around that former is a coil uh, in the form of a toroid. Um, and that is the secondary. So what we're actually doing here is we have got a transformer. So the magnetic flux from the conductor that we're interested in is inducing a EMF or voltage into the secondary winding, like so. That then comes known as the secondary current IS. So if we look at our, we can see now that by rearranging the formula for the number of turns on the secondary, the primary is always going to be 1, because at the end of the day, the primary runs straight through. Um, the secondary, we know we want the current to be 5, 5 amps, and the primary current we know maximum is 400. So in this particular term, in this particular transform, we're going to need a transformer ratio of 80 amps to 5 amps. 80 to 5, so that would be the, uh, the, the rating. Um, also, another way of working out, so based, so following on from that particular formula there, uh, for a current transform, we know that the primary is always going to be 1, so the secondary current is going to be 1 divided by a number of turns times the current that is actually flowing through the primary. Now, there is a danger with uh, current transformers, in the fact that when they are uh, when we when they're in service, they're actually stepping the voltage quite high because it's um, we're lifting the current down. Obviously, that means that the voltage is going to go the opposite direction. So when we take the ammeter away, we have to be careful because we are left with a very high voltage. So. What you might find is that there is a switch behind the ammeter on the CT. Um, and the idea is, is we close that switch and the switch shorts out 
the ammeter. So we can safely remove the ammeter. Um, and that just basically keep, removes the potential. Without that switch, if you went to remove the ammeter, then we could have some high voltage. Whoops, we could have some high voltage actually flowing uh, you know, at these particular terminals. So the maintenance electrician needs to be cautious when working uh, near ammeters. Obviously, it's much better to be safely isolated. But these are designed to be maintained while they're in service. So by closing of the switch, you should be able to safely remove the ammeter. Now, some of you may come across uh, a clamp ammeter or a tong tester. Um, these work exactly on the same principle. Uh, you have effectively an iron ring running around the, the clamp. You clamp a cable, uh, just one at a time, obviously, you're live or you're neutral. Uh, put the clamp around the cable concerned and you will get the ammeter or the amperage reading displayed. So they're quite safe. They're very handy for fault diagnosis. So, you know, you, for measuring uh, the amount of current taken by a particular load. They're good for observing uh, motor overloading. So, you know, you can obviously observe uh, what the, the sorts of currents that are being pulled by motors under load and offload. Um, so they are a valuable tool in the maintenance electrician's uh, toolkit. Um, and like I said, they do work on the same principle uh, as an ammeter. So, so let's have a look, quick recap then. So if we look at these current transformers, so it's much more convenient and safer to house the current transformers that just clip round our mains cables. There could be cables or buzz bars um, to have them inside an enclosure safely and to bring a much lower value of current out in these cables to the instruments. And the instruments could be a simple uh, 0 to 5 amp meter, moving coil meter. Uh, it could, the, the uh, 5 amps may feed into an amplifier, which might then in, uh, turn into a digital value for uh, a building management system. Um, either way, we have a varying current output proportional to the uh, primary, so the load current. So CTs, very simple, very effective, um, and uh, they are uh, heavily found, heavily common in uh, distribution panels on large installations. So next, we're going to have a look at voltage transformers.